Okay, this video is for one Jason Black, or actually just him and his types and kinds. Uh, this is 10 from Potomac, the 240 number, okay? First thing, let me just get this out the way right now for all the people that, uh, for him, because he went and said I must have had a track phone. Does this look like a track phone to you? It's a Galaxy S fucking 8, okay? And there you just saw your number. Here it is again. I tried calling twice. I tried calling twice. It's a Galaxy S8. No, it's not a track phone. What I'm recording on right now is a rooted Galaxy S5, okay? And the only reason I even have this phone is because the Galaxy S10 hasn't come out yet. Or maybe I'll get a Note 10. I don't know. I have I have full bars. Even now, I'm on my way to Frederick right now. I'm on 270 going north. And I'm in what is normally known as a dead area, but yet I still have full bars. Full bars. Full bars. Simply put, it's not on my end, okay? It is not on my end. Your stuff just sucks. Either that or there's something in the middle interfering with it, which brings me to my next point before I get into the main point of this, what's gonna be a short video. I call this number, 646-787-1933. And the first thing I get is some recording saying that this is outside my plan or calling, plan calling area, something like that, right? And I'm thinking to myself, I can call California just fine, but I can't call, he's, he's in Shreveport, Louisiana but the number for some odd reason says it's from New York. I can call California, no problem, but I can't call New York slash Shreveport, Louisiana without incurring a one cent fee, which, okay, I'm like, all right, I'll take it. One cent per minute, all right, whatever, fine. So I took that and I sat there and I waited until I got on. When I finally got on, well, actually the entire time, uh, I could listen into the show while I'm waiting. The thing is completely muffled. I tried using headphones. I tried using the speaker. Every, it's just completely muffled. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I have full bars here. But no, it doesn't work. Okay. Um, and actually, there's a third part that I just thought of that I'm going to get into with one of your moderators, okay? Because I was looking around at some of these mods and seeing, eh, what's up with them? Because I noticed that, that a lot of people in your comment section or, or your chat section, they talk real fucking tough. But then I look around, and I'm like, huh, what's going on here? Well, I'll get to that in a second. My question had, was, if black people as a whole, obviously not each and every single one, but as a whole... Uh, get black businesses up to some consequential degree, right? What is to stop some sort of Black Wall Street type situation from happening? And if anybody doesn't know the demise of Black Wall Street, basically, if, um, if, if I remember correctly, some white girl came in there, said somebody raped her, and then the Klan ran in there and burned the entire place down. All these black businesses just burned to the ground, gone. Now, obviously, in today's day and age, something that literal is probably not going to happen. So I even gave him an easier way to answer that. Up That situation updated for today's day and age. What if you got all these black businesses centralized, located in one area, and then they go and they, the white supremacists, go and say, oh, there's terroristic activity, there's terrorist activity going on in here. Oh, there's terrorist funding going on in here. What What is to stop that from happening? And he gave me some, some answer, some round the way answer. Um, the phone was going in and out. Again, I have full bars. He's the only person ever, 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 ever that I was not able to hear despite having full solid bars. So he gave some, 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 some way around the way answer. And I'm thinking to myself, does this man really have the answer to this? Because the simple fact of the matter is the U.S. has been able to go to other countries and claim, oh, terrorist, and then go in there and fuck the place up. What the hell is to stop them from coming into bl black-owned places? Let's say a, the black version of Chinatown. 
and fucking the whole place up too. You can fuck up an entire country, but you, but somehow black businesses are just so immune from getting fucked up once they all get together. I don't think so. I really don't think so. But you know what? I listened to his answer. I'm going to re-listen to it uh, once this thing, once his live show gets posted. And then the second part of that question that came up in the middle of it, he had said something about how, something to the effect, uh, the phone was going in and out, but he said something to the effect of other groups of people, and I'm, and, and I'm paraphrasing from what I can piece together, he might not have been direct, obviously it wasn't directly because he went off on some tirade after, other people, other groups, they have some uh, uh, what do you say, like some policy of like uh, uh, move away or get shot or something like that something like that, move away or get shot something about that and get shot I heard get shot and I'm thinking to myself, oh okay so they all have this thing of move away or get shot or something to that effect and, I'm, and, I, and then I went and asked him what if black people with their businesses was to have that same stance with everybody else? Would that work or would we get stopped? And he didn't even answer that because he really or supposedly could not hear me properly, kept going off about my phone, him and his little uh, yes men cheerleaders in the comment section or the chat section. And so I tried to re-say it from what I heard him say and then he goes off. I mean, he wants to talk about men acting like women or having feminine tendencies or something of, of, of acting emotional or something. You'll hear it. You will hear it when you go, if you go and listen to the show, it's, uh, what the hell is it? Um, economic, um, super bombs. That was the title of the, of, 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 of the, of the live show, live stream, live podcast, broadcast, whatever he gets. Uh, he, he feels some sort of way whenever you say show. Okay. Broadcast. You happy? He goes off on some mad tirade. I did not say that. You made, you fabricated that. You made that up. And I'm thinking to myself, what in the fuck is wrong with you, man? By your own admission, you're a middle-aged man and you're sitting here acting like that? What, what is wrong with you? And you go on and on and on and on. You disagree with somebody, you go on and on and on and on. Jesus fucking H, man. What is your fucking problem? And makes me really kind of wonder about some of the people that 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 consistently listen to you. I mean, hell, the, how how I listen to you is if you show up in the homepage of the YouTube app on my phone, and I listen to you whenever you happen to show up, and I'm driving somewhere and it's a long ass drive. I mean, hell, being in the middle of Potomac, anybody who knows Potomac, Maryland. It's River Road and Falls Road, and those are the two main veins to get out of this fucking place. So, River Road goes down to Bethesda Chevy Chase area into D.C. Falls Road goes off into Rockville. And it is a long-ass drive in either direction from, from, from Potomac Village, okay? And hell, even just getting to Potomac Village from all the surrounding areas is a long-ass drive in and of itself. So that's the only time that I actually listen to you. And I thought to myself, okay, let me call in this time. Asked, I had my question ready. I thought it out. Just wanted to get the answer to that because you know what? You keep talking about, oh, black empowerment and, 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 and black e economic whatever the hell. 
black people tried that numerous times from what I understand. What is it? Rosewood, there's Black Wall Street, there's a couple other places as well. And each and every single time, the shit got shut down off some trumped up foolishness. So what is going to stop that from happening this time? Huh? That's all I wanted to know. And I asked him a second question based off something he said in attempting to answer that question. And he goes off on this mad tirade like a fucking what? Wow. Okay, well, you know what? Thank you. Uh, you've shown how you are. You've shown how... I, I don't even know what the hell to call it. Immature or, or just sad and pathetic. I mean, who the hell goes off like that? Go to any other... Hell, the, the, the only other person that I can see that comes close to that is Tom Likas. And I've only heard a couple of his shit in passing. I don't even listen to him like that. I only heard a couple of his stuff in passing, and even he doesn't do that. He might mute you, he might he might just hang up, but even he doesn't go yelling. He's as close as I can possibly hear to that. I mean, he's as close as, that, as I remember to anybody going off like that. The lady just, the lady a couple calls before me, or the like two calls before me, she was there shrieking on top of her lungs. Whether you think of her as right or wrong, okay, fine. She was shrieking on top of her lungs. And then he comes back and does the exact same thing after demonizing her for doing that. That's really sad, man. That's really sad and pathetic. It's bad enough I'm already sus suspect about you considering that you, you don't show your face. And considering how long I've been on YouTube, I know why people don't show their face more often times than not, but in your case, eh, I'm, I'm really weary about that, okay? I'm really weary about that. But I overlooked that, I'm like, yo, as long as the message is there, what is he saying? Hell, Barbarossa didn't show his face either, except for one video way the hell back before he went on what he's known for. And that's fine, you don't have to show your face. It's a lot easier to upload shit when you don't show your face either, I know that. Audio only is, is, is easier to upload than audio with video. Fine. Faster to upload. Still a little bit suspicious to you, man. But the way you just went off, went off, went off. I did not say that. You, that, that is a lie. It's completely fabricated. I'm like, okay, well, shit. Okay, I didn't say that. Okay, just re-clarify it and then answer the fucking question. What... To the point that you made in trying to answer my original question, what if black people took that same stance of move or get shot or whatever the hell it is that you said with the word shot in there? Meaning gunshot, not, not a medical shot, not a shot of tequila, gunshot, okay? What if black people had that thought? Or, or not thought, but that stance and started acting on it, what then? Would that work or would there be a problem if black people started doing that? He didn't even answer that question. And then he and then he goes and hangs up on me now. He hung up on me. And when I'm not able to sit there and, 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 and defend myself, his little peanut gallery cheerleaders, they come in and start getting on my case too. Which leads, speaking of peanut gallery, this leads me to the last point. Ah, uh, Bucky's Town, Frederick, Jesus. Oh, 270 is a long ass drive. This leads me to my last point. One of your mods, I mean, hell, I haven't even looked at everybody, but one of your mods, NWA, I believe it is, I find that really suspicious, man. All this pro-black stuff, anytime a black guy has, has a non-black woman, there's eyebrows raised and there's growls and snarls and stuff. I've, I've noticed that. I've noticed that. I have noticed that with you, your channel, and the people that frequent your channel. I'm, I'm guessing frequent your channel, because the, the what? Seven times? Uh, the few times. The few times that I've... I don't even know how many. few times. Less than ten times that I've seen your stuff. I've seen roughly the same people. NWA. Moderator. I looked on your page. 
what's going on, man? For somebody who's supposedly so pro-black and B1 and stuff, you seem to have a whole hell of a lot of white girls. White girls with asses and stuff. Like, whoa. And you know what? Just to show that I'm not lying. Actually, I wonder if I could get back to that. I might have a screenshot of that shit. When I, when I get back home and get to my computer, I'm, 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 I'm going to have a screenshot of that. I looked on this man, or perhaps, God forbid, woman, page. This guy's a moderator for Jason Black, and he has all this fucking uh, white girls with asses and all over his page as a fucking banner and stuff. Like, like, whoa, whoa. And this goes back to the last video that I made, which is why this video is going to be the last one. The last video that I made, where I'm really suspicious of these types and kinds of people that are as for lack of a better term a militant as Jason Black and his ilk is I'm really suspicious of those people because quite honestly a lot of them from what I've seen just here on YouTube in the past a lot of them are people that wanted to get with white people wanted to get some white dick or white pussy or something wanted to get the whole interracial thing and they got rejected so all of a sudden now they turn pro-black now if anybody knows where that's from or 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 it rings a bell anywhere there was an episode of the boondocks with that with this one conscious with the clothing and everything and the headgear and all that stuff my brother 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 all that stuff the fist and all that stuff and you come to find out, hey, yo, the reason he's on all this pro-black stuff is because he got rejected by whites. He he wasn't the sexual toy of white people. So when I saw the NWA's page, I just happened to click on him. I just picked one. I actually clicked on the other moderator, too. The woman, she had a couple of stuff up about, uh, I forgot. I'll, hell, I'll throw a screenshot of her stuff up, too. But NWA, man, that's, that's looking real suspicious. Hell, you can look on my page right now. You're not going to see a whole bunch of white girls, asses, fucking fat ass white girls and ass clapping and all that shit. You're not going to see that there. real suspicious anyway I'm almost at my destination so I'll end it here uh, truth be told I'm, I'm, I'm really wondering if I want to go and blow I tried to watch race war I tried to go to the theaters to see race war and for whatever the hell reason my credit card despite having a zero balance at the time would not work Amex wouldn't work Chase wouldn't work my fucking bank card would not work so it wouldn't take credit or debit cards. I'm like, all right, well, you know what? He said he has a video, um, like like a DVD set coming out. Awesome. I'm gonna go get that. Now I'm kind of wondering if I even want to give this man one cent of my money. Maybe, maybe the web page not working was, I don't know, omen, premonition, whatever you want to call it, whatever word you want to use. Very, uh, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe if I run into somebody else that has that DVD, I might watch it from them. But I, after the way this man acted, I'm real suspicious or real weary if I want to go and give my money to this dude. That was fucking crazy the way he acted. The way he's sitting there yelling and shrieking on top of his lungs, going on and on and on. That was... That, that was sad. Anyway, uh, like I said, <laughs> if your shit comes up and it's an interesting topic, I, 
you know what? Look, it's like Peter Joseph said, all information is serial, okay? There's no your information or my information. He doesn't have a monopoly on it. You know, who the hell taught him? Where did he get his information from? Maybe I'll just go there instead and just bypass him so I don't have to hear his mouth. I don't have to deal with his shit. Because one thing I noticed, he doesn't like it when people start going in on him or start talking less than favorably to him. Start talking with less than a we are not worthy tone to him. But he has no problem talking to you like that. Anyway, in closing, again, Jason, your shit sucks. That lady that you went and yelled at, she's right. You might want to invest in some shit so you won't have to keep using whatever the hell is it. What, uh, what the hell is it? Uh, whatever program you fucking use. It's not SoundCloud. That's just for music. Uh, what, whatever the hell program this is, maybe you need to invest in some better shit. Okay? Take all that donation money, invest in some better shit so that when somebody with full bars and a proper connection from a high quality phone calls in, you can hear them and they can hear you. Because the problem is you, man. <laughs> the problem is not me or my phone. Again, Galaxy S8. Full bars. I'm in the DC metro area. I'm not out in the fucking boondocks. I'm not out in wherever the fuck North Dakota population one. There's damn near nowhere in the DC metro area that I don't have full bars at all times. So, yeah, no, it's not me. And uh, last time I checked, uh, Galaxy S8s aren't exactly track phones. But you know what? Good for you in thinking that every single black person that calls in is some poor fuck. Y'all have a nice day.